Hey everybody, it's Harold from Living in the Hill Country. Uh, today, I want to kind of show you a little bit about my rainwater containment system. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, right here in the Hill Country of Texas. My rainwater containment system, 210 gallons, there's four. 55 gallon drums, 210 gallons of rainwater that I can capture and use in my garden, which helps on the water bill, I guess, a little bit. Um, maybe not that much, but it does, and it's a little bit better quality water because it doesn't have the added um, chlorine and uh, that kind of stuff in the water. What I did is this I went out and I purchased the four uh, barrels uh, from. Uh, some landscape company. I think they cost me uh, $20 a piece, I think it was, give or take. So $80 on that. The, as far as the treated lumber under here, it's two by fours and fence picket, pickets, cedar fence pickets. I had those on hand, but uh, what I did is I built the um, base for them, leveled that all off, and then I put the barrels on there, of course. I connected each one of the barrels with some PVC connectors or pipes in between each one of the barrels. You'll see those. I got one of those rainwater kits that come came with the, the spigot. It came with the Connection hoses, the adapters that hook up to your downspouts, and what it has is a catch, a water catching gasket, I guess, like this in there. Now, this one's a little bit different than the one I have here. This one goes the full length of the downspout where this one here would go in this direction excuse me would go in this direction of the downspout or it could go in this direction but it would only cover half of the downspout so this one's a little bit longer it's made it's made to go the full length any rate, what happens is, of course, the water comes down the downspout. It falls into the outer edges of this, drains through here, right? And then comes into the barrels here. Now, this one's a little bit, needs to be adjusted a little bit because water's been running in there. And it's kind of built up holding it down and I did not quite I do have it this a little bit lower than that one but not much so water does uh, gather in here but if it was held straight like that this is lower than that so therefore it would run in anyway it also acts as a backflow system so as the water gets up here it will backflow it and then drain it down here okay on this side it's a little bit farther away from the downspout so therefore I've added some clear water hose there basically to channel it down in through the gasket into the rain barrel takes about 30 gallons to soak my garden. So I get, if I were to soak everything, I mean a real good soaking, I would get about six days of watering. Now, not soaking, just basically spot watering, maybe one, two inches of water on each one of the plants, would probably take about 
half that, 15 gallons. So that would add about 12 days of watering. Anyway, so I have it hooked up. Now it does have a spigot for gravity flow, and that worked well um, to fill a bucket and carry it off to whatever you wanted to water. But it's time consuming, a little bit strenuous. Um, so I hooked it up to a water pumping system that I have set up here in this little plastic box. Here, let me move this here. And it is one of those Kohler flows, water pressure pumps. These are the ones that are made for like RVs and boats. And it has a, it's on demand, so as you use the water, of course, the pump will uh, kick on, of course, and drive the water. This spigot is left on. The water goes down in through this. Um, over here, I guess, that's the silver one. Comes in through here, and then, of course, is pumped out that direction on, into the black hose. Okay. have the electrical routed in to the garage and inside there it's just basically plugged into a extension cord right now but I'm going to hook up a plug in either outside here or I'll probably end up connecting it to a battery in a solar powered system to where uh, it will run off of solar power. Anyway, so here is, of course, the hose. And uh, there's the water. And it's pretty good. I mean, it gives it enough pressure, 50 pounds of pressure. Uh, that's all I need. But I can use the rainwater instead of using my regular city water. So that's the system. And I want to... And we'll need to extend or expand on this because here in Texas during the summer when it doesn't rain you can use up you can water every day and so I think what I'm going to end up having to do here is add on and I think I could probably get three more barrels there where my compost bins are I could probably get about three more there um, so that would add to it and I suppose I could um, maybe come out this way with some but I think the best thing is just to you know whatever I can contain is what I could contain so if I can add three more there that would be good so that would add on to it anyway I got another area over there by the watermelon and cantaloupe that I want to put one and I'll show you where that's at. So here is the watermelon and the cantaloupe over here by in the corner of the fence that would be the south southwestern corner of the property and over here <laughs> you'll see you'll see my bags of of a dethatch i dethatched the lawn yesterday and <laughs> have three large bags of dethatch anyhow uh, this is about water containment. So I have a lot of water that comes off of this side, this slope of the house here. It's a pretty large slope. And that water from those two slopes come in to the gutter system here and down this drain, down this uh, downspout here, and come out here. And when it rains heavily, you can get a lot of water out of there. So I want to probably set up. I don't, I'm thinking 
four to five, maybe. Or, I mean, I could go more, but I might want to start with maybe two and then work from there here in this area. Because nothing grows here in this corner anyway, and this is all going to be landscaped with rock and stone and rock. All right, but I'll be able to get, well, let's see, probably an eight, eight or nine. I could probably get here in this area if I needed that many. And then as my <laughs> my garden over here expands and grows, which it may or may not, I'll have water there. Otherwise, I could always have pump the water from here out to the garden over there without any worries. I have pumped the water from there. Whoops, that's the compost. You can see them there, there, all the way out to here. It, it pumps it out there just fine. So, at any rate, that's my plans. And that's the water containment system. <laughs> So I got off onto a little bit of a babbling about my water containment system and where it was going to go, so I apologize for that. But you kind of have the idea of what I did there. Um, and there's there's YouTube videos all over the place about water containment systems, and there's things about this system that I would do differently. But uh, the, the important thing is, is that you see something like that and you want to do it, Watch a few videos on it, learn a little bit about it, kind of know what you're going to do, and then just do it. And then uh, learn from your mistakes. I know that there's things that I'll do differently on the setup that I have over here um, next to the house over here. So, And it's going to be different than that. So no worries there. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I very much appreciate it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Haven't subscribed to my channel, do so. I very much appreciate that support. And as always, God bless you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.